Wildlife diseases make Montana headlines more frequently these days. But at Fish, Wildlife and Parks Wildlife Health Lab, this increase is largely due to a focus on the health of Montana's wildlife. There have always been wildlife diseases. So there are new diseases that we're detecting that we hadn't detected here ever before. And then there are a lot of other diseases too that are here and have been here that we may be detecting more because we're looking harder. We actually have a wildlife health program now whose focus is just you know looking and investigating and understanding wildlife health and wildlife diseases. Wildlife diseases differ from human health and they receive less attention. And implementing a wildlife cure or prevention is extremely difficult compared to a human disease. So FWP's Wildlife Health Program categorizes diseases to help focus their priority. The diseases that are classified as priority diseases for the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks Wildlife Health Program are diseases that have potential for significant wildlife impacts, significant domestic animal impacts, human health impacts, and economic impacts. So diseases that hit all of those are really high priorities for us. While the Wildlife Health Program relies on the public for help, the challenge for Ramsey and her staff is managing wildlife disease once detected in Montana. The diseases that become established in wildlife are very difficult to eradicate, very difficult to treat the animals, and very difficult in some cases to manage because the animals are not confined to a certain space. And there are very few success stories where a disease has been eliminated in a wildlife population. So preventing it is the ideal option. Yet with all the challenges, Fish, Wildlife and Parks Wildlife Health Program will continue to raise awareness and work to minimize wildlife disease impacts in Montana. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.